everybody, welcome back, on how to stop having the same fights in a relationship. So, I just ran a video on why it's important to fight in a relationship, but also, it's not necessary, nor is it important, to have the same fight over and over. That's actually a fight, rather than a logical, respectful debate. So watch the show reel, stay till the end, and I will give you a couple great tips on how to let go of those negative, repetitive fights. So we all know that there are things that are our pet peeves, right? And I see this in couples. Oh, they're fighting about the dishwasher. They're fighting about the garbage getting taken out or that thing that you do or that you never do, that you always do or that you never do over and over again. And this creates a tension, resentment, built up hurt. Our natural reaction then is to explain to our partner why we want it done X, Y, Z way. Or the other, the other person is trying to explain the reason why they don't do it. This is why I don't do this. I tried. And what happens is these explanations are actually just a way of us releasing tension, right? People talk to release tension. They talk to release emotion. They talk to be heard. They talk to be listened to. But often they're not intentional about the way they're talking or why they're talking. So you may think that you are talking to your partner about like, I want the dishwasher emptied this way because um, it's more efficient and we can fit more in and things get more clean. And if you overpack it, things aren't gonna get as clean, right? And they're saying, I like packing it this way just because I was in a hurry and I was taking care of the kids and I figured it was better to be in the dishwasher than on the counter, right? And all of a sudden this becomes like this weird fight about like who's right and who's wrong and what's going on and does it really matter? And now it's this argument that's building up this tension that gets released by babbling over and over again. Like, have you ever started talking just to release because you're frustrated with your partner? Have you ever realized that it's digging you deeper and deeper into a hole because they're not listening or you're not listening or you're not feeling heard and it actually makes things worse? So that's why it's so important to set a solid intention around what is bothering you and what you're fighting about. And really look at it. Is this something that really matters in the long term for you? Does it really matter? Is this going to be something that makes or breaks your relationship? Or is it only going to make or break your relationship? Because you're obsessing about it. Because the other person is obsessing about it. Because now it's become this argument over and over again. This is why it's so important to write these things down. Write, what are you actually angry about? Like, what is the cause of this fight? And underneath that, write all the ways you feel about it. I feel um, angry that they're not doing it this way. I feel sad that I'm not appreciated. I feel um, frustrated because it seems like no matter what I do, I don't get what I want. So like, whatever, just write down all the reasons. And now see if you can do something different to let go of those emotions. Maybe something like emotional freedom techniques tapping. Maybe some meditation. Maybe that emotion is actually stuck because it's a reflection of a time that you weren't taking care of well in the past. Do yoga. Yoga is great for moving energy. Go run. Go work out. Do something that addresses it without avoiding it, right? One of the techniques that we use often in different types of meditation is like scan your body, feel where it is in your body, and then just notice it. Witness it. Feel it and allow yourself to really sink into it. Don't push it away by drinking or television or all that kind of stuff. And don't try to release the tension by bitching at your partner all the time, right? Like tune into it and see what needs to be said. What is your body asking for? And then now you can actually set an attention of like, how can I communicate this to my partner? Or how can I let this go for myself? Because everything that we're feeling is all about us. People can't make us mad. People can't make us happy. People can't make us frustrated. It's only because we're sensitive to it. So anything that your partner is doing that's making you upset is actually what's happening within yourself. So the best key to stop fighting over and over and over again in relationships is to figure out what inside of you is being upset in these fights. And is this something that you can release the sensitivity for with your own work, with 
journaling, with meditation, with yoga, by addressing the needs, a somato, somatic experiencing. Like there's so many healing therapies that can help you with that. Talking to a psychologist, talking to a counselor, whatever it is, using different tools, acknowledging the fact, acknowledging the emotion, validating that for yourself and communicating what you need from your partner in a really clear way when it's not around, but then also letting it go. And when you let that go, you won't be triggered by it anymore. Right? And I know it sounds really easy to say, and it's not always so easy, and I get that. Right? It often leads back to a past hurt in a different relationship or from our parents or from a belief system or something that's, that's deeper. But do that for yourself. Do that for your relationship because I guarantee you, if you don't fix it in this relationship, it's going to follow you into the next relationship because wherever you go, there you are. So now, instead of verbally vomiting, now spend that time that you'd usually be fighting with your partner, building emotionality. Stop. When you feel yourself getting frustrated, stop, pause. Say, so we come here for a minute. Put your hand on their heart. Have them put their hand on your heart. And look deep into their eyes and just breathe for a minute. And just say, I felt myself getting frustrated or angry and I just wanted to connect with you instead of being connected to the thing that's making me upset. Can you see how that can change the whole energy of this potential fight? Or acknowledge out loud, like, wow, it's super funny right now. I'm feeling this way. Like, for example, I needed a little bit of attention the other day. And I, so I asked somebody to rub my neck, right? And they're like, yeah, and then started rubbing my neck and then stood up and went and got water and came back and was eating a piece of pizza and then started rubbing my neck again. I was like, never mind. Because I felt like, ah, here comes the wind. I felt unheard, unwanted, uncared for. Not, why? Why? Because it was a trigger from a past relationship. Right? It actually had nothing to do with this person at all. It all had to do with old, my old relationship shit. And so I kind of went off. It was like, never mind. I acted like a petulant four-year-old and I stormed off. And then I was like, and now I feel like I want them to chase me and, and apologize. But that's, they didn't do anything wrong. It was all me. So I went back and I apologized. I said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I was acting like a four-year-old. I mean, not right away. I needed some time to process my four-year-old self. That was being a crabby four-year-old, you know, pouted a little bit. And then went back and apologized and said, hey, I'm really sorry I acted that way. I guess I just needed attention. I was feeling so childish in that moment. I just, I didn't know how else to react, right? And then that created this lovely bond where we could actually open up communication, take responsibility, right? And he got to tell me how he felt about how I acted. And I got to honor that, right? Because it triggered something inside of him as well. So you can actually start avoiding these fights that happen over and over again by just really tuning in, noticing what you're feeling, addressing it, and moving on. So you are love, you are loving, you're lovable. I hope this helps. Please like the video, subscribe. Please, please, please write a comment or two because I really want to see how this is changing you, how you are able to shift your fights. What do you need more support with? What did you try that didn't work? Because I've got other tools. I've got other tips. And there's more videos on the way. Take care.